welcome back everybody uh, to Lauren Hardy Go Metal Detecting. That's right. <laughs> we thank you for your time. Uh, thanks for joining us. We are once again in a bean field. Bean field. We told y'all last video we were going to bring y'all some magnet fishing. And we're going to have to backpedal on that a little bit. We're going to sneak it in here and there, but we're really excited that these bean fields are being cleared because uh, David's found us some old homesteads, and he's going to tell us real quick what we're going to be hunting today. We will bring you magnet fishing, but it's probably going to be a compilation video of a little bit here and there, and then when we get enough shots, we'll probably do one big video. So be patient with us, but glad y'all back. David, what are we going to be doing today? Today we're going to look up on our uh, maps and found out that there's uh, several old houses in this field. Uh, as Gary said, they're bringing in the crops now, so that we're excited about that, being able to get back out in the fields on a lot of old home sites. And uh, I know a lot of these these places were there, they were actually old in the late, you know, I mean, middle, early 50s, and were maybe torn down and not even there anymore in the 60s. So these yeah. are really old home sites. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about some of the stuff we'll find. I know we'll find a lot of uh, cool, Oh, maybe coins, uh, but you're also going to find, you know, a lot of historical stuff. Uh, like the one thing you found the other day, Gary, that's really cool. You'll have to post a picture of that. Yeah, I'll show you a picture of that. Uh, we found one just the other day, kind of tinkering around. You can probably hear some of the farm equipment uh, powering down in the background. Hope you can hear our, our vocals. But I'm excited to get to it. We're going to start digging around, see what we can find on what used to be some old home sites. It's going to be fun. Stay tuned. Okay, my first big find of the day, a little piece of aluminum. That was like a 10 or 11. No big deal. The edge of this creek, I start just scanning. Well, David's over here. He's looking for stuff. We have found a couple of things. I am way ahead of David in the nail puller category. He is just... That's a trophy. That is a trophy. That will go on the fence of fame. You'll be seeing it in the future. But that was like a 1415. Look at the... We're pretty sure that's a nail puller. Not sure what the other end looks like, but can't wait to put that on the fence. David's on to something over here. What you think you're on to? A bottle. A bottle? Yeah, it's a real weak signal. A bottle? Yeah, I've already pulled a piece of it out, but I want to see what it is. See it right there? And I'm picking up a tin. Well, uh, it jumps. It's, I, I see an edge or something. Oh, is that the bottom of a bottle? I can't really tell. I can't tell. There's a piece of metal in there, though, because I keep picking it up. It's like a tin. Maybe it's the top. Screw top yeah, on the I think that's part of a. It could be part of a spoon. I don't know. That's not metal. I don't think. No, it's not. Huh. But I'm just curious because sometimes, like up on the site up here, when we go up here, yeah, I found an old burn site, probably where the uh, trash used to be. Uh huh. But there was all kinds of stuff in there, old bottles and even some old clothing and huh. stuff. Okay. Let's see how deep that is. Look at that. There it is. Here's something. See it way down there? Yeah, it looks like the bottom of maybe just that. Right there. Oh, something oh, may tell it. See it? It's part of an old can, maybe. Maybe it's one of those mason jar lids. I hate to scratch it. Careful if it's one of those with the porcelain lining in it. I, I may have broke mine last time. I just wanted to see what it was. See, it's part of a... Oh, it's one of those porcelain things. Yeah, it is. You just popped it in. It's funny. Funny I mentioned that Look. because that was exactly what it is and you preserved it. I think. Yay. Isn't that funny? Yeah. It's got the writing on it there. Oh, that's cool. At least yours isn't in it. So I guess you were uh, detecting the top piece, the metal yeah, piece. Yeah, it's just the, the remnants. Oh, look, there's the part of the lid. Look. Yeah, that's the lid. That's what I was picking up right there. This deep. You see how deep that is? Well, that's cool. Yeah, I found one of those the other day, and it was in pieces. And David's got one now that's, I don't know why I thought of that, but. Check this out. It happened to be one. I thought it was just a piece of tin, but I started wiping it off. Look at that. It's like 
copper or brass, but it's got a ornate type thing on there. Oh, that's cool. It almost looks like leather. It looks like fake leather, but it's yeah. like it's brass. <laughs> Look at this side. It's just a piece of tin maybe off of a barn. Oh, that's neat. Flip it over. That's cool. Who, who knows, man? And those are collectible, those lids. Yeah. Uh, especially if you have one that's in, not in pieces. Yeah, I, that's deep though, so we're in the right area. There's there's a couple of remnants in here. I think that's a piece of foil right there. That's cool. Oh. There might be another one in there to get to. Yeah, reaching in here and get a handful of Maybe see, I'll see some. part of the old mason jar itself. Yeah. That's neat. Maybe it was full of there's coins. More in there. Could have been full of coins. <laughs> they had buried all the homes. Yeah, that's where Grandma put all her old coins. <laughs> <laughs> all right, got a good signal right here. We'll try to check this out. Came up like a 24, and there's a lot of iron in the ground here, so I'm going to try to see what I got in here. Hopefully you guys are getting that. What we got? Stop. What do you think about that? Clean it up and be sure. Or some kind of nail. I think it's a door stop. Oh well, back at it. Ring up like a penny. I'm glad you told us to put our truck windows up. Oh yeah. It looks like a dust storm coming this way. Should have wore a mask out here, Gary. <laughs> Gathering in the beans. Just got a pretty high signal here. Gary's gonna come help dig it out. <laughs> it's a 2829. That could be a a piece of junk. Well, That's what I had on the spoon. Well, and maybe I may have found the fork. I was just going to ask if you found us a coin yet to satisfy our coin addiction. I'm hoping that we gonna find something. Oh, Gary, there it is, right there. Something rusty. Yeah, let's get the camera there. Let's see it. Some kind of ring. All right, we just flopped out. I guess this is what it is. Oh, maybe a piece of. Look you at know, that. You see where it's worn on one side. Rings give us a nice signal, don't they? They sure do. It's definitely, look at that green, mean green. I'm pretty sure that was a nose ring. I bet it was, Gary, for the family bull. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the bull? He's probably down there too. Rang up good. May not be the only thing in there either. It may not. I'm just going to run back over well, the it's hole. it's in good shape considering. It's got one little dent kind of thing over here, or is it just a thin spot? It may be, you know, like where it was hung, you know, it just yeah. wore there or something. Cool. Thank you, sir. Fingerting. We'll try it out. Well, guys, I don't know what this thing is, but <laughs> I didn't know better. I'd say it's a fossilized comb. <laughs> what is this thing? Anyone knows, let us know. We'll talk about it again at the wrap up. But that was about a, I don't know, 16 or 17, something like that. And this is really hard. This is not a soft bristle or something. Tell me what you think that is. All right, getting a pretty good signal right here. It's a 25, 26. All right, let's see what we got. I guess that's what it was, y'all. Double check. Sorry about that little worm. 
piece of brick in here. So we know, Gary and I, we're pretty sure we're in here where the house was. Out here in the middle of this, middle of the field, you would never guess, there was a house here. Put that in the trash bag. Give you a quick look around. They're bringing in these beans. There was another house up there. Gary and I are going to go up there in a few minutes. Gary's over there digging. You see where the hill is. Give us another wave, Gary. He's in deep concentration right now. <laughs> there was a house here on top of this hill, and then there was a barn also. We can find all kinds of debris from the barn all down that way. But uh, we're finding brick and stuff here. So there's my tag from last year, a little red tag. It actually lived through the year. What you got, Gary? One of them Georgia 12 buttons? Or just a... Really? Could be. You know what? Should be able to tell looking at that side. You need a brush? Yeah, that probably helped. Thanks. I left, I've lost my bag, actually, that's got my brushes in it. Oh, man. Yep, Georgia 12 button. That's probably an old paper shotgun shell. Well, one of those, what do they call them? I can't remember what the, uh, the one was. It was kind of, not collectible maybe, or maybe to somebody, but I can't remember the names of them now. Uh, the Detecting wow, Smiths. A, oh, yeah. They're always finding them. Golly, that's an old one right there, Gary. It's really ate up, isn't it? It's a... Uh, I almost read something on that. Something there. MC. You got the glasses. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Let's see here. Can't see without my hearing aid. I got my headphones on too. That makes it fun. Be anything on here or stuff. Yeah, that's going to be the. Does that look unfired or fired? Or? It's been fired. Look at that indention in the center. So, what's it say there? That says. Oh wow, I see writing on it, but I can't quite make it out, Gary. Yeah, I'll have to look at it. We'll do a closer cleanup on that. Oops. But that was. Isn't that funny? Look at your foot, man. That's where Flag probably <laughs> located the house last year. Is it? Isn't that brought crazy? To you by yeah, brought to you by. Well, that was it. Well, that's one, cool, that Gary. One of the things, but I don't know. Some people collect those. Yeah, hang on to them. They're really cool. Let's get back. Hey, we know we're in here. We know we're in the house. The search goes on. Hang in there, y'all. Hey, well, I found a, another cool something. It's an old spoon. Um, it's kind of... Uh, <laughs> I have unbent it and cleaned it up some, but it was it was in bad shape. And still is. <laughs> it was all curled up, but it's got a little detail on it. It's registered now as a hole of 28... 29 so i don't know if that means it's got some silver plating on it or what i'll try to see if it says anything on the back but anyway that's kind of cool all right got a signal here that strong a signal. Well, I guess it was a strong signal. I don't even know what it read now, but there is something right here. And I thought I felt something. Well, I'm going to turn this off and I'll come back if I find it ever. I found a bunch of small pieces of stuff, little bitty bolts, pieces of bolt or whatever. But now I've got something huge in here. I'm not sure I can get it out. <laughs> Let me dig it out. Let's see what this monstrosity is. <laughs> camera you can hardly saw the camera shake on that oh I know what this is it's another <laughs> it's 
Y'all tell me what it is. I think this is an iron. Cool rama. I'm getting some cool stuff to go on my fence of fame, which is where I put my stuff. Awesome. It's an old iron. All right, just got a 26, 27 signal. And it looks like it's an old brass belt buckle. That is cool. I wonder if it's got anything written on it's it. It's missing Gary. the little thingy in it. Yeah, it rusted off, didn't it? I that's it, brass. I wonder if yeah it is. I wonder if I got that it's got that little anchor symbol on it, like the one I found in my I don't know. Front yard. That one's probably older. That is cool. We know we're right here where the house was for sure. Mm -hmm. I found some brick right down there on my way back up. Look at that. Look. There's the red flag right down there. I don't yeah, know if you I've see it. I've got a couple of pieces of brick, an old piece That's of right. glass. Yeah. I just found this uh, old iron, heavy as all get out. Wow. It wasn't just the bottom plate like the last one I found across the street. It was heavy, heavy. That thing feels like it weighs 10 pounds. I, know I it bet does. it does, man. It was about that thick, though. Gosh, well, we know we're right here where the house was, and I'm shocked that the flag stayed from last year. I guess it was just, it just got lucky. Had enough metal on it. Had enough metal on it. All right, we're back at it. Just got a 12 signal. Didn't ever hit 13. And this hole right here. Got a little bit of a sticking out here. I know it's a nickel of some sort. We're gonna just gonna see what, what it is here. Well, just I hit a nickel. A got a little patina on it, Gary. Watch it be like a 1986 or something. Tell me it's a buffalo. I don't think it is. We got a little nickel. We'll have to clean it up. Is it a weedy? It's a nickel. Oh, you said nickel. Oh, I see the memorial thing on it or whatever you call it. I see it, but that's a... I'll have to clean that one up and see what we got. What year it is. Well, what would a metal detective adventure be without finding a pull tab? Yay. Okay, just picked up a nickel right over there a few minutes ago. Made a little sweep, come back, and hit another 12 signal right here. It looks like I got another. It's going to be a nickel. Let's see it now. Oh, wow. It's coming off. Don't know how they are. I might have to toothpick these. 12, 13. Go. We're in search of a gardener snake. I don't know if you can see him or not, but I can. He's fast. He's fast. I'm driving him over to David. Run him over here, I'll pick him up. Come here. He's cute. Well, it's been a long day. We found some really cool stuff. It's the end of a hard day for us and these farmers out here. They're bringing in the last of the soybeans. Yeah, there are a few more out here. Actually, they got quite a few that way, but they've cleaned up an area we want to hunt next time. So uh, we're getting ready to do the wrap up. We just need, uh, we need something from the, the whistler. If we could get him to kind of cue the wrap up, that'll do. <laughs> We'll see you at the wrap-up in just a second. Okay, we've made it through the day. We've been here, what, six or seven hours, I know. I'm not sure what, even what time it is, probably about two o'clock or so. But we've had gorgeous weather. David's gotten us this permission to hunt a home site or two. And we're gonna show you what we found today. And as you know, we do the good, the clad, and the ugly. And I'm not sure we got everything out here we found today, but I think we got most of it. Um, let me see. Are those going to be clad or not? I call them the good. 
Well, if, oh, if yeah, we well, have any, needs to be right. if we have any that's post sixty four, which we're, so we're gonna have to really, I'm gonna have to toothpick those to try uh, to get them clean. Yeah, no, those may be. I don't know if it's old enough. I guess, I guess they're not really. I guess it is good. It, so those may be belonging over there. Oh, we'll leave them right there. We but don't know what they are yet. We're not even sure what the dates are. They're really, but they're pretty old. They're probably not. Old. But we're going to start over here in the good section. Good, something you're going to take home. It's not really just absolutely gorgeous, but it's not clad. It's not trash. So I'm going to start. I've got a. Uh, I found my second old iron, and this thing is heavy. It is really heavy. So that's one of the old irons. Uh, David says they used to probably throw them on a stove and heat them up, and then uh, then they'd use them. Got this old spoon that I have cleaned up quite a bit from when I found it, as you saw. It was all bent up. May have a little bit of silver in it or on it, so I'm not sure about that. This uh, we think is a or was a lady's comb, steel comb, and I'm going to clean that up and try to get you a cleanup shot with a lot of that dirt taken out. But I wasn't sure what that was when I first found it, but that's kind of cool. I'm tickled with that. And then one of the first things I found, if not the first, was this uh, nail puller, I guess. It's really cool too, Gary. It's I think I, with a nail. I think it might still work. Even. I bet it does. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I, I, you're going to put it on the fence of fame, I'm sure. Yeah, it will be on the fence of fame. But that's really that, that's cool. That's real handy. All right, well, what was in your good section? Um, Let me go up here right. I'm it, on not the in the shape. Today I found, uh, I, I like to find these old, but they're, they're old undergarment buttons that you'll, that the people would have on their clothing, you know, undergarments uh -huh. and so forth. I found quite a few of them out here in these old fields. I uh, found this old, we're not sure exactly what this is. It does look like, now that you're saying that, it does have some kind of... It looks like it's got a pattern or something, on, or something on it, and it could be buttoned. Uh, oh, well, it's got actually a screw. So this may have went on a piece of furniture or something like yeah. that. Yeah, we'll tell them what that was on. It's definitely Maybe grass. We clean it up when we I found up. this old uh, dog call, dog tag. It's got the person's telephone number on there, and it says Singleton on it. Yes, yeah, so still has his leather on the. So that's either the last gone. name of the owner or it's the dog's name. <laughs> <laughs> found these two nickels today. Uh, they were pretty deep out there. Oh, I think we have that on on film. Yep. I guess we do our trash, all stuff that maybe. Are these things you're throwing away? I really shouldn't be. I mean, you're I'm throwing saying, these away. Got, this, these really belong in the good category. Yeah, I mean, we're this gonna, was the top of a, it's a decorative, we think it's a top to maybe a snuff can or yeah, or something like maybe that. Compact. Found this old that. brass ring, it's probably horse tack or something. Uh, found this brass belt buckle. Found this little brass or, or copper little ring of some sort. Uh -huh. I don't think, I don't mean it in a decorative, in a jewelry type way. I uh, found this brass, on this I first thought of far, uh, found part of the old barn, but when I flipped it over and wiped it off, it's got Isn't kind that, of an alligator pattern on it. Isn't that strange? It, it is It does strange. look like an alligator skin scales. It's story. crazy, ain't it? Of course, yeah, this didn't it. ring up, but the lid did. I, I think I... What happened to the lid? I think it's in my bag. But this is uh, the inside of an old porcelain uh, mason jar. Most of the time, these are broken when you find them. And that's part of that leather dog collar down here. Yeah, and what's interesting, out. I found one of these last week when we were hunting, a uh, video you're not going to see, and uh, it was all broken up, but that was the first one I'd ever seen. And uh, it's kind of odd that David ran across one the next time we dig. So now we get to the true junk stuff. Oh, man, we found some junk today. Didn't I, we? I've got a bunch of nails. I kept finding nail after nail, just sort of the tin and the old one pull tab and a couple of these bottle tops and, of course, uh, Got to find a toothpaste glass. top every once in a while. <laughs> we got a toothpaste top. That's not uncommon out here. We've seen those several times. We had a good time. They're still cutting, and yeah. uh, some of the places we're really wanting to go, they're in the next few fields where they're going to be cutting next. There's one of them in this field we'll be going to down there in the corner. Yeah. And um, I, I found some really good stuff down there. I'm okay. excited about hitting that one. Okay, well, your shirt, uh, we should have had your shirt featured at the first, but now we're going to say bye, y'all. And <laughs> that's what you say in the South. That's right. Bye, y'all. Thanks for watching. Appreciate uh, it. Appreciate your time. We'll see you next video. And maybe we'll do some magnet fishing. Yeah, we're going to, hey, we should. Well, we are that's getting, not far from right here. We, we may.
we may do a little bit on the way uh, home after this, but you won't see it on this video. So we're trying to collect some together. Oh, and I wanted to show you something real quick too I had before we say goodbye, uh, which I already have. But this little gizmo here, this was kind of cool. We found this on the last hunt, another video you're not going to see, but uh, it looks like we think maybe a picture hanger. Yeah, so, two strings. It's, and it's kind of ornate. Uh, you probably can't see a lot of detail. I'm not getting up real close with it. I may show you a close up, but it's a uh, it's fairly fancy looking copper. Uh, but it was all crumbled up. Uh, all these tabs were folded over. It had dirt all over it. it. Looked like something you might would chunk. But David yeah. said you might look at that and see what it what it is. So I cleaned it up. You know, unfolded it. Actually put some brasso on it and uh, put a Dremel tool to it. And it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. So sometimes you might want to take a second look at some of those things before you pitch. Maybe throwing away a treasure. Yeah, you might be throwing away. So, so bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. See y'all next time.